For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on this Tuesday, February 14th, my name is Ian Kelly, and these are the stories we're following at this hour. A Friday night event at Harris Hill Ski Jump in Brattleboro has been canceled. However, Saturday and Sunday competition is still on. Organizers say the jump is in good shape with plenty of snow, which has been made over the last two weeks. However, forecasted warmer temperatures leading up to Friday dictate that the snow must be preserved for Saturday and Sunday competition. Vermont is currently resettling hundreds of refugees and asylum seekers from countries across the globe, with many of the new arrivals being placed in communities like Brattleboro. Congresswoman Becca Ballant and other officials on Monday visited the community to learn how Washington can better serve their needs. A family of Guatemalan refugees spoke to Ballant through a translator at the Multicultural Community Center of Southern Vermont. For the past few months, federal money helped pay their rent, giving them time to learn English, but the federal cash ended, so their mother had to take up a job at a local warehouse, a big shift from her law practice back home. Working around the clock means she has to cut back on time to learn English, stifling opportunity at the meeting run by the Ethiopian Ethiopian Community Development Council, refugees from Guatemala, the Central African Republic, Afghanistan, and Eritrea explained other challenges, including the impact of family separation made worse by the backlog at U.S. Customs and Immigration Services. Governor Scott and the Department of Housing and Community Development have launched the Manufactured Home Improvement and Repair Program offering financial assistance to manufactured home communities, commonly known as mobile home parks, as well as current and prospective manufactured home owners. The program, funded by $4 million from the Federal American Rescue Plan Act, will provide financial assistance for park improvements, home repair, and foundation installation. Senator Bernie Sanders is co-sponsoring legislation that would expand Social Security benefits by $2,400 a year and ensure Social Security is fully funded for the next 75 years, all without raising taxes by one penny on over 93% of American households that make $250,000 or less. These estimates reflect an analysis of the legislation conducted by the Social Security Administration at the request of Sanders. WTSA Sports, the Celtics visit the Milwaukee Bucks tonight. Giannis and company tip-off is at 7.30. And the Bruins are in the Big D tonight. Bruins are in Dallas with the puck dropping against the Stars at 8.30. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Tuesday, February 14th, have a safe and tremendous rest of your day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.